Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we are going to use different templates in a single loop grid. Using different templates in a single loop grid, you can customize the layout of the loop grid. You can have different templates in a single loop grid. You can use up to 20 different templates in a single loop grid. Here is an example of alternate loop template. So this is the first product and it is using the first template. And this is the second product. It is using the second template. And this is the third product and it is using a different template. So in this example, I'm going to create three different templates and I'm going to combine these three templates in a single loop grid. You can see that each product has different animation, different background color. You can change the position of each template. So here in this example, I have created a loop grid of products. These are all WooCommerce products. You can also set the column span of each template. For example, this template is using two column span. You can see that it is taking two columns width. This is just an example of how you can use different templates in a single loop grid. There are a number of possibilities of using the combination of different templates for the loop grid. Loop grid is a feature of Elementor Pro. So you will need Elementor Pro to use the loop grid. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Elementor on this website. I have also installed the Elementor Pro on this website. Now let's see how we can use different templates in a single loop grid. Now here I'm on the demo page and here I'm going to use the loop grid. So search for loop and you will see this option loop grid. I have already published a video on loop carousal. I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's drag and drop this loop grid. Right now we do not have any template created. So we are going to create the template. If you already have a template, you can use the template. And what I want to show here I want to show products. So if you want to show post, you can select post. Otherwise, you can select products. So here I'm going to use products and we do not have any template here. So we are going to create the template. So we will create three different templates. If you want to create more templates, you can create more templates. So here click on create a template. Let's click on save. So we are going to save this layout here. Okay, so this is the option to create the template for the loop grid. So I want to show featured image. This will be the product featured image. And let's see, this is the column. I want to add some background color. So this will be the background color. And I do not want any padding here. Now below this featured image, I want to add the title of the product. And let's change the color of the title to white. Also change the size. Let's align it center. So we have got the featured image and the title of the product. And below that I want to click, I want a button. So I'm going to create a button here. Let's center align it. Make it full width and change the color to black. So this is how it will look. The image, the title and the button. Now if I want to add some animation to this featured image. So I'm going to style, go to hover. And for the hover, I can add one animation. Let's say this one, push. So this is how it will look. And I'm going to add some mask also. So I'm going to, I'll go to advance and Go to mask, turn it on. Let's use the circle. So this will be the mask. And I want to make them same size. So I'm going to style width will be 100%. And let's put the height 300 pixel. Okay, so all the images will be of the same size. So this is how it will look. So we have got the template. This is the first template that I'm going to use. Click on save and back. So now we will see all the products here. 
Let's click on this. Let's make some changes here. I want to show 18 products. Right now it shows only six. But let's make it 21. And we have three columns here. Let's update it. Refresh it. This is the page on which we have the loop grid. So this is how the loop grid will look with the single template. Now, if I want to add another template, let's go back. And here you will see another option, apply an alternate template, turn it on. Okay, now we do not have any alternate template yet. So I'm going to create a new one. Click on this alternate template and click on create a template. So we are going to create a new template. Let's click save. So now we are going to create the second template. It will open in a new window to create a new template. Let's name it as template two. Let's name it as number two. Here, click on the plus sign. It will be single column. I want to show featured image. Just like before, we are going to add this featured image. We are going to change the color only so that we can differentiate between two different templates. Go to column. Make padding zero, style. Let's change the background color. And let's add some mask on the featured image. Go to featured image, advanced, mask, turn it on. Now we are going to change the mask to sketch. So this is the sketch option. So this is how the sketch, the sketch will look. Go to style. We will use the same style setting for this. Height will be 300 pixel. And now just below this, we are going to add the title. Center align it. Change the size. And change the color. Now just below this, we are going to add the button. Make it full width style we are going to change the color all right so this is the second template click update all right so we have created the second template go back here and let's start using the template number two this is the template the second template so we have selected the second template here now we need to set up the position of the second template so this is the second template that we have created and here we have selected that template position in the grid. So this is the grid and I want to set this position to number two. So every second column will have this template, the second template and how many columns span? This is up to one column. If I change it to two, it will look like this. It is going to take the space of two columns. So as of now, I'm going to select column one. Let's update it. Now it shows apply once. So it is going to apply only one time. If you want this template to repeat throughout the grid, you can select, you can simply uncheck it or disable it. And you will see that it will use this template after every second column. This is the first column, second, third, then four, five, six, the sixth number, seven, eight, it will look like this. Let's update it. Let's refresh it. So this is how it will look. You can see that this is the first template and this is the second template. It is going to repeat. If you want to make changes, you can go to the template again. Let's say I want to have some, I want to add some animation to the featured image. So go to hover and here you can change the animation to rotate. Update it. So we have just made the changes to second template. So here you will see the animation, the rotate animation. And this one has grow. Now I want to add more template. So let's go back. And here, let's close this one. This is the first template option. Click on add item. So we are going to create another template. This will be the third template. Click on 
create a template click save and it is going to open in a new tab this will be single column let's add featured image go to column and select the background color change it to let's say I want to use green dark green zero padding let's go to image go to style 100 percent and 300 pixel will be height and I want to add mask let's use this one go to style go to hover and add some animation here Okay, so this will be the animation. So whatever animation you want to add, you can add animation, whatever changes you want to make to the style settings, you can make changes to the style settings so that it will look different than the other template. Let's go back and add product title. Center align it, change the color. And the size. Let's add this time. Let's add to card use add to card so this is how it will look if you want to use add to card button you can use add to cart or you can use the simple the regular button let's change the border color sorry the background color all right so this will be the third template that we're going to use let's click update now you can make changes to the template let's go back okay let's change the name of this template go to settings and let's change it to item number three whatever name you want to assign to this template you can assign it it's updated let's go back here and here we need to select the new template so this is the template that we have created selected and i want to apply everywhere so i'm going to select no and let's assign the position to number three so the third column or the third product every third product will have this template click update let's go back refresh it this is the second this is the first one let's go back let's do one thing right now it is using three column let's change it to four column and use 20 products so we are using four columns here you can see that every third product has the third template the second product has the second template and this is the first one okay it's updated refresh it now you can make changes to the column let's go back to the first the second template this one and i want to change the column span of this one so this will take two column span update it and refresh it so this is how it will look you can see that the second template is taking two columns and actually this is four column grid and every after every two numbers it is going to use this second template so this is how it will look this this one looks good let's go back here let's say i want to use this as on the fifth number so this structure is going to change the layout completely so let's change it to four so you will need to play with the settings and you will need to adjust position of each template let's update it refresh it all right so this is the main template this is the second one and this is the third one so you can use up to 20 different templates in a single loop grid so this is just an example you can customize your templates so this one looks better than the regular loop grid in which you can have only single template so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.